What's up everybody, Jeff here for Beer Brand, and the last video I did was uh, tips on the neckline. So this video I'm gonna do the cheek line. So let's get into that. Okay, so first thing, the cheek line is very different for so many people. So this is just the train of thought that I think about it and the rules that work for me. Now, not everybody has the same cheek growth as me, but if I share what I do, maybe that may help you too. So what I do is I draw a line from the last part of the growth of my sideburns where the beard starts pushing forward, and I draw that line into the point under my lip where the growth stops there. Luckily, my growth kind of goes all the way up to my lips, so my line would be going directly from that sideburns area to my lip. So if we drew a line, it would just go from that sideburn all the way down there, and I would shave off anything above that. Now, not everybody has the growth here. Some people have it down here and even lower, but I would still go with that sideburn part wherever your beard starts growing forward and then draw a line from there down to the bottom of that little hook. Now for the people who have it really low like that, I'm not saying get rid of everything above that line. I'm saying that's your guideline. So you'd want to kind of keep that little trim at least until that mustache part because a lot of times you'll find there's going to be a little divot here in the between the beard and the mustache and you'll kind of just clean it up right up until that point. So you'll have this break and then the beard would come down. Now this thing that I was talking about going from here to the lip is just one way to do it. Uh, right now uh, I've been experimenting with that point going up to the top of the mustache and creating a line going that way. Uh, there's all sorts of other ways you can do it. You can even do like a curve up to the mustache and uh, maybe like a slope down, some people like that. So it really depends on your genetics and just trying to make that look its best, um, emphasizing its strongest part and maybe getting rid of its weakest, like sparse hairs here and there. But really, my personal taste is to keep as much of it as you can and just get rid of those straggly hairs that are just kind of poking out and that look sloppy. Also another thing you want to consider while figuring out your cheek line is how long you've been growing on your beard. Because you may think something is really sparse, but you give it another month or so, it ends up growing in and starting covering everything else out, and it really wasn't sparse in the beginning. So you don't want to mislead yourself by thinking, oh, this hair is not going to ever do anything. It may. I mean, every beard in the beginning looks really, like, thin, I guess you could say, or most beards do, and, you know, you may want to grow that out a little bit longer and see how far it goes, and then you kind of can judge if it's actually very thin there. It's really, there's no great, great way to say this works across the board. Um, you just kind of have to experiment how far down you shave or not shave at all. It's all a matter of taste. So I hope that helps you out, and if you have any other requests, uh, let me know, and I'll see if I can get to them. Alright, peace.